I'm dreaming. Is this shit for real? Am, am I too high? What he said affects all of us. He said something that really hit home about um, this phenomena of chemtrails. And, you know, when I was a kid, I used to see these trails in the sky all the time. And I said, oh, that's cool. A jet just went over. And then you started to see a whole bunch of them. And the next thing you know, everybody in your neighborhood was fighting and arguing, and you didn't know why. Okay, and and you really didn't know why. I mean, everybody was fighting. So. Could a strange substance found by a Southwest Arkansas man be part of a government test? Well, that's the question at the heart of a phenomenon called chemtrails, now getting widespread attention. Well, they say the government is dumping chemicals on us to control or manipulate the weather. And they say the unusual looking jet trails in the sky are actually chemical laden chemtrails. People say the government is up there in airplanes spraying all kinds of chemicals to change or manipulate the weather, leaving what you see there. And they call that a chemtrail. So when I look up there and I think are contrails, you're telling me our chemtrails. Yes, that a contrail would be dissipated by now. And it's interesting, Dale and Christina, this is of interest not just in this country, but uh, European countries and frankly all over the world. A lot of folks interested in it. Well, Dave, you mentioned that climatologists and others who study the atmosphere believe that they'd be able to surely spot any kind of signs of an ominous plot. Her journey started in San Diego, California, where thousands of scientists, engineers, policymakers, and journalists gathered for the American Association for the Advancement of Science Conference. One of the topics was the artificial manipulation of the Earth's climate, also called geoengineering. During the meeting, scientists spoke about the plausibility of implementing geoengineering campaigns throughout the world under the guise of preventing global warming. One widely accepted theory was to block the sun by spraying something into the atmosphere. When they were asked about existing aerosol programs, they stated clearly that no such programs have ever been implemented. But strangely, these proposals sounded exactly like what people around the world are claiming is already happening. When I found out that the American Association for the Advancement of Science was going to be held down here and the main body of uh, topics would be on geoengineering, I had to come. I, I had to be in on this. I had to hear what these top climate change scientists had to say. Uh, and that's the other question about you know, chemtrails and whether geoengineering is being deployed right now without uh, our knowledge. Uh, I don't have any personal insight to that um, other than to say that I work in government at uh, you know, pretty high levels in the White House and in, uh, at state government. You know, I'm personally skeptical of that. Um, uh, but obviously, you never know what you don't know. Chemtrails. On the internet, they are cited as proof of the government creating clouds to combat global warming. They claim the American government, with the secret approval of the national government, is covertly using jet aircraft to spray population centers with aluminium, with barium, and with strontium, so as to reduce people's humidity and reduce the global population. And the next thing you know, everybody in your neighborhood was fighting and arguing, and you didn't know why. Okay? And... And you really didn't know why. I mean, everybody was fighting. So he, he started riffing about the chemtrails. And he started to say things that uh, hit home so hard. And I would recommend that everybody try to get what he said online or wherever and try to get a copy of it and just listen to it because the, uh, I was so moved that I had to write this song. Illumina, we've only begun to research and publish nothing. Dane looked at him and he said, so you're telling me that spraying 10 to 20 megatons of aluminum, as you said, would have no human health effects? He took a deep breath and he swallowed and he said, let me be more careful here. We haven't done anything serious on Illumina and so there could be something terrible that we'll find tomorrow we haven't looked at. And that, for me, that was the whole main point of, of what is, is going to be coming out to the public. It's, it's the damaging effects of aluminum that are being found around the world in massive amounts. Here's David Keith confronted on this very issue, and he, he looked, you know, at that point like, like they just let the cat out of the bag. Mm -hmm. We haven't done anything serious on Illumina, and so there could be something terrible that we'll find tomorrow we haven't looked at. 
they're proceeding because they have an agenda that's separate from trying to thwart this crisis of global warming. You know, there's there's obviously several other objectives, whether it's depopulation, control, uh, weapons aspects, communications aspects, all kinds of things, you know, wild cards that we know nothing about. We don't really know, and I'm not going to attempt to speculate on exactly what the agendas are, but we can see clearly they're not, uh, they're not, the agendas are not benefiting mankind. You know, it's benefiting the agenda of the elite. When you leave, with all the hassle, can you have that love? love. I'm so tired of you black folk walking around looking all evil like that's going to change something. <laughs> looking all mean and talking all crazy. Let them tell you about your children. If I sit here today and these are all white folks and they're putting some sleeping pill in my water, and I sit up here and doze off and go to sleep, and everybody told in the world, niggas is lazy. <laughs> they tired. No, that's because you too naive enough to know what they putting in my water. Okay? Your children ain't violent because they black. They ain't violent. Most people in the world live in a ghetto. They don't kill people. What are you putting in my malt liquor, white boy? What are you putting in Hear me. And it's your fault too. Malt liquor is made by white companies, but only sold in black neighborhoods, and you ain't checked it to see what's in it. Huh? How much lead are you putting in my neighborhood? Lead affects my thinking capacity. Lead is only one thing on the planet more dangerous than lead, and that's manganese. Manganese will make you kill your mama. And let me tell y'all something. If you want to see the largest homicide rate in the world, it ain't in no black ghetto in America. It's a little town in Australia where them white folks' homicide rate is 200 times what their population is. And that town just happened to be located across the street from a manganese place. Sit back down, Dick. Don't lose that mic. Yeah. That, that town is located across the street from a manganese plant. How much manganese are you spraying in my neighborhood at night while I'm asleep? How in the world can a nine-year-old child find a heron man, but the FBI can't find it, and you gonna tell me that's a black thing? Y'all crazy? What is this about? These are the things that need to change while this brother and sister's on their way to the White House. And when you see Hillary and y'all see Brother Barack thanking for me, and you white folks need to be thankful, because if y'all had a brother like me, y'all would really be in trouble. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, Dick Gregory. And this is why we turn on people to wake the hell up, man. The white man is not your friend. Never has been and never will be. He's the devil that the Bible speaks about. He is the damn great Satan that the Quran speaks about. He is the pale folk tongue that the Native Americans spoke about. He is the one to bring heaven, the great white dragon that the China man spoke about. That's who the so-called white man is. Look all over this earth and look at one culture that loves him. You can't find one culture. Not one. Not one. <laughs> the East Indian culture said that he is the one that Vishnu and Shiva spoke about. The one to terrorize our land. Look it up! That's our people's problem. And that's everybody's problem on this earth. They done fooled you and took you to make them think that what? They are the number one man, woman, and child on this planet. How could, they be my, how could you be minority and they majority? When you damn white people only make up 2% of the population of the planet Earth. Just 2% those are facts, brother. How can we know that's not fact? And they ask you this, brother. Is China a colored people? Yes, they're a melanated people. You understand? For all Asia and Asia Minor, those are melanated people. Me from the North, Central and South America, is melanated people. Where'd the white man come from? Huh? Out the gaze of Europe. 
He's the only man on the planet that is not melanated. So who's the goddamn minority? The white man is. But it's niggas like us, our people walking around, white man is okay. White man's good. Then when you see us talking about the white man, them Israelites are crazy. Them Israelites, hey, we, we, we love you, Israel. The most I told us to come to you and make your ass repent. Give me Isaiah 58 and 1, man, and read that with a loud voice. Why are they yelling? Because God said to get out of simple ass. We ain't with, you want to hear some whispers? Go to church tomorrow. And they'll whisper all day and shake a pot in your goddamn face. Read what you got. Come on. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Come on. Cry aloud. No, the Lord said whisper. Cry aloud. No, the Lord said talk low to them. Cry aloud. He said cry aloud and do what? Spare not. Spare not. So if your feelings get hurt, y'all gotta take that up with God. Read your Bible. Read your Bible and say, why he talk about me because I got a tight skirt on? Why he talk about me because I got my pants up my vagina? Why that nigga talk about me because I'm smoking and I'm gangbanging? Cause God said so. You take that step for God, man. Read, man. Come on. Lift up that voice like a trumpet. He said, lift up that voice like a trumpet. Read, come on. And show my people their transgressions. We're supposed to show you your transgressions, man. Read. In the house of Jacob, their sins. We got to show you your sins, thus saith the Lord, whether you like it or not. That's not our problem, man. We don't like what the Lord told us. We were doing some of the same wretched things that our people is doing. And to come out of those things, it takes a lot, man. That's called repenting, man. Coming from the Greek word metanoia, repent, which means radical change. You got to change and come back onto the most high. This world is yours, whether you want it or not. You walk up and down with your tight ass jeans. Niggas jeans tighter than your woman. Mm. What kind of manhood is that? What do you get? You'll bang on another man, pull a razor out, that look just like you and slice his damn face open. Why? Because you rep this block, he rep that block. But the white man rep your country, nigga. He done took your country. Took your land. Your culture, your nationality. So where's your razor blade across his face? Huh? You niggas is cowards. You cowards and you come up here, we gonna punish your ass by the permission of the Heavenly Father. Until you wake back up and then you chase and punish your real enemy. Of the so-called white man, woman, and child, man. The damn devil that the Bible speaks about. Understand that. You got to, you, our job is to tell you that you're the devil, you old raggedy ass monkey. And if you want a banana, come up here and we'll feed your ass. Oh zoo ass creatures. Letting you know how we feel. Cause that's the truth. Too much respect for this white man. Y'all got too much respect for him, you weak ass men. Weak ass women. Y'all got too much goddamn respect for the white man. White man look you in the eye, you still got that old slave syndrome. You put your head down. White man tell you what are you doing here? You explain everything to him like he's your goddamn mother. Well, I was just waiting for my friend because my friend said this. Tell him none of his business. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing nothing wrong, but you ain't got the heart to do that. Let another black man ask you a question. You ready to curse him out? Let a Hispanic brother ask another Hispanic brother. Hey, well, what did he bro? Yeah, that nigga Dominican, he's stupid. Man, you niggas got to wake the hell up, man. You all the same people from the nation of Israel. There are 12 mighty children, 12 tribes that the Heavenly Father set up and ordained for you to take back over this goddamn planet. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. And you give me Deuteronomy 10 and 15. Read that, man, with a loud voice. I mean, everybody Dre probably man, feel the same way. I be feeling sometimes. Dre man, Dre it's like sometimes you be like, damn, like, you know, like, man, like, Dre is this shit for real? I, I'm like, is this shit for real? <laughs>